An unforgettable weekend for several students from the Tennessee School for the Deaf. These 8th through 12th graders got the chance to go to UT's homecoming game today as well. Yesterday we told you about a school supervisor's efforts to secure 15 tickets to the UT Charlotte matchup. Shortly after our report aired last night, University Athletics called Six On Your Side reporter Elizabeth Kubel with an incredible offer. The school donated all 15 of those tickets. New tonight, Elizabeth heads out to Neyland Stadium to capture the students' excitement. A life-changing experience happening right now for those students. They're inside Neyland, many of them taking in their first Tennessee game thanks to some big community support. A special weekend on the University of Tennessee campus celebrating homecoming, but for this group of students, extra special. UT is my dream college. So I've been wanting to come here to a UT football game for so long. Tennessee School for the Deaf senior Wilma Robinson speaking to us through an interpreter as she and her friends geared up to take in ball football and all its glory. Their tickets, a donation from the university. UT gave me a call yesterday and said we would love to give you 15 tickets all together. I was shocked. <laughs> I, I think I told my husband, I'm like, I'm on the phone with the University of Tennessee Athletic Department. And as the students walked inside Neyland's gates, signing in and picking up their tickets, Wilma most excited about one thing. Just to feel the different vibrations and the beats going up through my body, it's gonna be great. The community support, not lost on this group of students and their residential supervisor. In fact, Rachel Loop saying many different people stepped up to help out. I just want to thank Knoxville for just showing the love. With all the hate that's in the world and all the horrible things that are going on, it's so nice to know that Knoxville and our community is so loving. In Knoxville, Elizabeth Kubel, WATE, six on your side. By the way, this was the first UT football game for all but one of those students, so a really special day.